Hey guys, today we're hopefully going to be retiring this Corti Quad, the Optiplex 745 you might have seen in past videos. The item in front of us was going for £21 delivered on eBay, and the postie seemed extremely happy carrying it this time of year, so let's open it up and see what we've got inside. So what came in the post is literally an old school HP Elite 8200 from a school. You see what I did there? Yeah. Anyway, in this video we're going to be building this HP app for low powered Windows XP gaming. This HP Elite was released in March 2011, costing around £800. The motherboard has the Q67 chipset, supporting DDR3 memory with the strongest CPU supported being the i7-2600. So the HP has had a few parts removed for security, let's quickly test it using a live CD to make sure it's working. Ok so yeah we got to the Linux desktop which means this battered old PC is still working. It's clearly seen better days though so time for a good clean up. So cleaning it properly took about an hour and you don't want to see all that so it's just enough so you get the idea. While putting it back together I forgot the thermal paste so I had to go back and redo it. The paste I'm using here is trash but for testing it's not too bad. After a few months it dries out and we'll need replacing. So for the final build for XP we'll be using an i3-2100, 4GB of RAM as it's 32-bit, 1TB mechanical hard disk and a K620 low profile graphics card with 2GB. Also for sound we're going to be using the Autogy SE. First though let's give it a full workout without being held back by the OS. Here's Fortnite in Windows 7 64 bit with 20 gig of RAM. Looking at the stats, the CPU and GPU are a great match. On to XP, here's Oblivion, this time using Fraps, which unfortunately will drop the frame rate a fair amount. Finally a bit of benchmark in a 3D mark, not much to compare it to right now but it might be interesting to look back on it in future videos. So there we have it, the HP Elite 8200 for Windows XP Gaming. Having a second gen CPU this PC does quite well with the third gen being the last to properly support XP. Is it any better than the Corti Quad? Well if you can get it cheap enough then yes, for a start it makes it easier to dual boot with the modern operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did like and subscribe, thanks for watching.